Hello folks, it's Mark with Launchpad B coming in today with another tutorial. And uh, this one's gonna be a hybrid. I'm actually gonna be using Clipchamp and I'm also gonna be using Zoom. Uh, and the video comes in today as a request from a viewer named Austin Nelson. And he's asking if there's a way to, for me to do like a background removal type thing. Uh, now I'm assuming he's talking about green screen and he talks about using multiple image angled around the screen. You can put multiple images into Clipchamp. Uh, I can do a separate tutorial for that, but you won't be able to angle them or skew them because Clipchamp doesn't have that capability. But for this particular tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a green screen background without actually buying a green screen. Now, using a green screen is a little complicated. It's a lot harder than just putting something green behind you because you have to light it correctly. Uh, you get what's called color cast, where you have like a green highlight on your skin if you don't light it correctly, and then you kind of blend in. If, if the green screen is not lit correctly, it'll kind of like fade in and out. So there's a lot of, a lot of tweaking that has to take place. Uh, so fortunately, Zoom has the ability to add anything for a background. So in theory, if we add a green background to us, Zoom will do the efforts of outlining us and putting us onto a green background. Now, Clipchamp has the ability to remove a green background and make it transparent. So we're gonna take advantage of both of those tools and I'm gonna show you how to make a basically remove the background of a talking head, which is what I'm doing now, but we're gonna do it without a background. So here's how it's gonna work. We're gonna start off by creating a green image. Now I'm going to happen to use PowerPoint because that's the program that I use for everything. You can use any program to create a green background. Now when you create it, keep in mind of the formatting. A widescreen image, what you're looking at now, is formatted at 16 by 9. Uh, if you're looking to do a kind of a traditional image of 4 by 5, that's the other that you want to go with. So let's go ahead and jump into PowerPoint. So what I'm going to do here, and since I'm using PowerPoint, I'm just going to walk you through it very quick. I'm going to go ahead and go to Shapes. I'm gonna draw myself a square across my PowerPoint slide here. Doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, we're gonna remove the background, the outline, and I'm gonna fill it with a special color. I'm gonna go under standard, and I'm gonna select this bright green, pretty much a green screen color, right? Now we're gonna go ahead and save this image, and we're gonna call it green screen. Okay, so now that that's done, we can close PowerPoint. We don't need it anymore. So the next step is, is we're gonna go ahead and host a Zoom meeting by ourselves and we're gonna add the green screen. So let's go ahead and go into Zoom and we're gonna select new meeting. Uh, and once that opens up, we're gonna go ahead and add in our green screen. And I'm also adding the audio here so I can hear myself, okay? Uh, so going ahead and we are going to add in our green screen. So we're gonna go under video. Uh, we're gonna start the video. There I am, hello. Uh, lighting's not so good on this, on this camera. Sorry about that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and select a virtual background and we're going to add a background here and we're going to go ahead and add an image and we're going to add the green screen that we created and there we go. So now we're going to go ahead and we've got a green screen now. So now I want you to notice that in this particular green screen, it's not perfect. If you look at me here, you're going to see this weird halo around me and it's because Zoom isn't perfect at creating the edges. Um, so it's not going to be fantastic. Um, you can use the real uh, actual green screen behind you and, and, and zooms a lot better at making it, cutting it out on you, but that's going to defeat the whole purpose of this video, right? Right? Uh, so for this particular video, we're just going to go with it as is, and I'll show you, um, it's still going to be very useful. So once you're ready, you're going to go ahead and record your meeting. So down here at the bottom, we're going to hit record. This meeting is being recorded. Okay, so now that we're recording, this is where you do your thing. This is where you're recording yourself talking to whoever your audience is. Uh, if you're doing, let's say, a tutorial where you're talking about the latest computer, you wanna be superimposed in front of it, you can do that. If you're looking to do a video game tutorial, you can do that as well, this way. The recording has stopped. What's gonna happen now is that Zoom is gonna convert my meeting and it's gonna save it onto my computer. It's gonna give me a folder with my meeting in it that I'm gonna go ahead and import into Clipchamp. So let's go ahead and launch Clipchamp. So here we are in Clipchamp, and just to show it, this is the folder that just uh, Zoom created for me with the green screen video that I just recorded. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and start a new project. So on the top corner here, we've got the option that says create a video. I'm gonna go ahead and select that, and now we're gonna go ahead and import our video. So the first thing I'm gonna import is going to be at our, the video that we did for Zoom. I'm just gonna drag it and drop it into this section here, and it's gonna go ahead and add it. And there I am with my green screen. Wow, pretty cool, right? Uh, the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to import whatever video it is that you were hoping to do a tutorial for. And like I said, if I'm doing a tutorial for a, let's say it's a computer or something, uh, I've got a cool laptop uh, job here that I was working on with, with Dell. I didn't make this video, but I was tinkering with it. 
Uh, so once this video is loaded, we're gonna go ahead and drop it into the timeline. Okay, so now that the video is loaded, we're ready to start doing our edit. So let's go ahead and drop the video of this computer here. Pretty cool, there it is, yay. Uh, actually, I think I stole this from somebody's YouTube um, channel. Um, I apologize, I'm, I don't know whose video this is. I'm not trying to steal your video, it just happened to be something I'm using as a background, please don't hate. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop in my green screen video here. There we go. Uh, and from, from what we'll do from there is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove the background now. And the way that we do that is you select the clip, you're gonna go up to the top where it says filters. And you're gonna scroll down and we're gonna find the filter that's called green screen. And there it is. We have now successfully removed the background. So, I mean, if you want, you can keep yourself in the middle of the screen talking about something and there's cool stuff happening behind you. Uh, if you happen to be working on a video game tutorial or something and you wanna put yourself off to the side, you can actually go into the option that says layout up here at the top. We're gonna to select picture in picture and there I am tiny right there. I could drop myself in any corner that I want and then I can increase my size accordingly. Uh, the other thing is, is you can actually just click on it there uh, and you can resize it to any size you want. You can drop it where you want it. Let's say I wanna be in the corner here. When I deselect it, the green screen again will go away with the filter. It was just there for my own purposes. And again, I now have the ability to talk about something while removing the background. So Austin Nelson, I hope that this was what you're looking for. Basically a video where I show you how to eliminate the background and then superimpose it over another video. The process is extremely simple. So for everyone watching out there, if you found the video to be beneficial and helpful, please make sure that you leave me a like. Uh, also make sure that you subscribe. I'll have a lot of content on the horizon for ClipChamp for some of the latest uh, releases they got coming out, some of their text-to-speech things that they're doing. They got some exciting things that they've got coming up on the horizon, and I'll wanna be one of the first people to get that information out. So stay tuned, make sure you subscribe, uh, and also if you have any special requests or if you just wanna give me a shout out, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Yeah.